One of the other major issues underpinning the run-up to the forthcoming vote on Europe has, of course, been migration. And this year, after just seven weeks, the numbers are yet again startling. Today, the International Organization for Migration said more than 100,000 refugees have already arrived in Greece, many fleeing the horrors of Syria. A further 7,000 have come into Italy, mostly from Africa. Quite a significant proportion of those are trying to escape the secretive nation of Eritrea. Last year, close to 40,000 fled its authoritarian regime to reach Europe. We have a special report tonight on the border with Ethiopia, where people fleeing the regime face a trek across the Sahara before the desperate gamble of the sea crossing. Behind them, one of the world's harshest regimes. Ahead, a journey of hard-to-imagine dangers. A long road they'll take in sandals and flip-flops. This one morning, we watched 500 Eritreans fresh from the border. Among them, a great crowd of children, as if they followed their own Pied Piper with the promise of freedom and riches. This boy echoes a common refrain. I came with my friends, he tells me. My parents didn't know I was leaving. Whether they're genuine refugees or economic migrants, here seems a moot point. They are desperate. Rebel has just a few dollars in his pocket, no more than the clothes he stands up in and dreams of Britain. If there is a, a chance to get to uh, Europe, I want to go there. The journey might cost you a lot of money, but it might also cost you your life. You know that. Yes, I know. But you're prepared to do that? You're prepared to take that risk? Yeah. Why? How can I live there or here for, for a long time? And I remember about my, fam my family, how do they live? What do, what do they do? You want something better? Yeah. Home was the forbidding land that lies beyond these mountains. Eritrea's reputation as Africa's North Korea is well earned. We've obtained rare pictures from inside one of its prisons. Jail is a punishment for those caught trying to escape the country. We cannot independently verify this video, but the scenes fit with human rights reports of arbitrary detention and routine torture. Those who arrive in Ethiopia often bear psychological wounds. This man tells me he was frequently arrested, frequently beaten. It just beat me. Beat me. Just an individual. <laughs> when it becomes painful, when it becomes above your <coughs> capacity, you just cry. You cried. You man, cried man. To get this far, they have already gambled everything they have. But the way to Europe, across deserts and sea, is long and even more hazardous. And there are plenty here who have tried and failed and are lucky to have lived to tell the tale. The scars on this man's flesh were left by burning plastic, dripped onto him by people smugglers. They've been promised a new life. Instead, they were kidnapped for ransom on pain of death. People were raped by force. You know, you kill you. This boy sings a lament for the country he's left behind. Here, they are caught between an impoverished and repressive homeland and far off Europe, where the well of sympathy has run dry. John Ray, News at 10 on the Eritrean border.